Hi Aries, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, we're going to take a look at new love, who's coming towards you. This is intended for singles. So it could be your ne next future partner, your next lover, your future ex, your next date. However, the uh, energies are here for you. We're just going to take it as it comes. This is intended for singles. If you do believe you have a love connection with somebody, I do offer love readings on the channel also. You can find the links below to your general and love playlist, and you'll find the love readings under the love um, playlist, and you can feel free to check those out if you would like to. So this is intended for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So if you'd like a private reading, all that information below is down in the description box, as, along with the um, decks I'm using, social media, Tons of stuff down there, so please do go check it out. And if you're new, um, welcome. Feel free to check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four readings a month, sometimes five if you get the bonus reading, and they're all different, so there's something for everybody. So if you do subscribe, um, thank you, and welcome to the channel. So Aries, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what we have for you for incoming love, new love. So what I'm going to do here, Aries, especially if you're new, I'm going to pull one from this deck, and we'll sort of get this person's energy. And it could be something they're going through, they've been through, or just the energy they're in, or whatever we get here. And then this will be their spirit soul type of energy. We may get what they do for a career, what their passion is, what their hobbies are, or something like that. So it be like their soul and uh, spirit energy. And then with the romance angels there, we'll get their love energy, what their love energy is like. And then we'll combine that all together, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at how you're both feeling at one and towards one another, how or how you will would both feel towards one another. And then if there would be any blockages, challenges, advice, guidance, uh, possible outcome. So let's see for eerie spirit, please. Someone rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. What is oh, that's too many spot one? What is this person's energy? for Aries, for the general collective. All right, I feel like this one. I'm going to pull the oracles first, and then we'll get into the tarot. So let's see what their spirit and soul energy is like for Aries, singles, new love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. What? Oh, that's too many. What is this person's spirit that one's stuck in my hand already. And let's see what their love energy would be like. By Aries Singles, New Love, Spirit, please, thank you so much. Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective for Aries Spirit, please. What is this person's love energy like for Aries? And if I can tell, um, perhaps, like, maybe how you would meet this person, uh, you know, like where, how, time frame, you know, I will say. And um, I'll go over all the uh, signs, so, but literally they could be any sign. So I wouldn't get too caught up on the signs. So let's see what we have here. We have compassion, caring, empathy, acceptance, and gentleness. So we have 28, which is 10. Tens are about completions, and then that's a new beginning, one. So somebody here who is compassionate, and this is uh, green, which represents the heart chakra. And you see this flower is open, it's blossomed. So I feel like somebody here, they may have gone through an ending uh, in the past. I mean, don't we all, <laughs> usually, at some point in time? But I feel like they blossomed and they healed and they've grown and expand themselves. And uh, But they are an energy of being caring, empathetic, accepting what is is what is. And someone who may have a gent very gentle energy about them. So it's kind of a good energy. So let's see what their spirit and soul counseling. You heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathetic ear. So this could be somebody who is a counselor. That may be their career in some way, shape, or form. It could be a therapeutic counselor. They could work, you know, um, in education. Or maybe they just like to give people advice. You know, they like to lend their experience and advice to people also. So again, it comes under that caring kind of energy, caring and wanting to help people kind of energy. So, and we have empathetic here and we have empathy up here. So I feel like uh, somebody who's very wise and uh, empathetic. 
We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I think this is somebody who enjoys um, every aspect of life. This is like my law of attraction card. So this may be somebody who definitely knows how to manifest what they want in their life. Um, and uh, they appreciate, you know, the finer things in life, the little things in life. Because, you know, they could be very passionate also because we do have attraction there. But I'm not getting it in that way. I mean, we didn't get the passion card. I just feel like um, that's my law of attraction. So I feel like they they man they know how to manifest and they manifest whatever they want. <laughs> Basically, not in a bad way. But all right, let's see. So let's clarify this energy. And I think when they are attracted some to somebody, or you know, whether they're dating or anything like that, I think they enjoy. They enjoy that a lot. They enjoy that person's company. They like to enjoy every single moment with that person. Like, you know, like to give them their full attention also, I kind of feel. Again, I'm getting very, um, not clingy, but I think they'll just be very affectionate with uh, whoever they are attracted to or they like. Because you see this woman... It could be man or woman, doesn't matter here, holding, I think it's a fairy, and this one smelling the flower. So I think they'll pay close attention. They'll um, enjoy every moment. You know, they'll really listen also. So let's clarify this, their energy. See if we can get more energy about what this person, maybe what they've been through. All right, so for Aries, here, please, what is this person? Can we clarify this energy for Aries? Singles, new love. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy, but let's pull, pull all the cards first before I start reading them so we get a clear picture um, of this person. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So we have um, Taurus energy here. We have the Six of Wands, somebody who's very victorious and successful. The Page of Wands. The Page of Swords. Wow, so this is somebody who definitely uh, likes to communicate. They're not shy at all, I feel. The Three of Swords, and I have felt that with the um, Ten up there. Maybe they've been through you know, something in the past. It could have been a third party. Something was very uh, hurtful and painful here. So let's get one more. And the Hermit, yeah. So they probably had to go in and do a lot of healing, thinking, retreating. We got Virgo energy there. So I feel like this is somebody who definitely, uh, they could be very kind of slow moving energy, but they're very methodical. They're smart. They're wise. And we did have wise up here under counseling. And um, no, they're cautious. They make wise decisions. They're practical. Uh, they don't take any steps foolishly, they really think out and plan. <laughs> Usually Knight of Pentacles is a planner, a thinker, very cautious, you know, they move forward, uh, very s smart energy. But whatever they wanted to accomplish in life, I felt like feel like they have because they're victorious here with the Six of Wands, very fire, fiery, passionate energy, um, but they're very successful. So we do have the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords, two energies of communication, and the Page of Wands could be, you know, good news coming in or just very fiery, passionate uh, communication. But these two um, communication cards come right under counseling. So I feel like that they're very passionate about what they do if they are a counselor because the Page of Swords can be about learning, learning, teaching, um, kind of energy, open, honest, truthful communication. So I think they're very open, honest, and truthful, they're very passionate about what they do. So they could be like I said, a counselor, a therapist, or something like that in some way, shape, or form. Um, they could have been, you know, they could be like a divorce counselor or a life coach or something like that. Maybe they help people that are going through heartache and pain or depression or, you know, different things like that. But I also feel like that maybe they've been through that also in their life. So it helps them when they're counseling because they've lived it, they've experienced it. Because we do have the hermit here. So the her hermit, you know, goes in, reflects, you know, finds their path, their way, their light, 
deep soul searching, healing kind of energy. So, and you see the light shining on the Three of Swords here. So, I think this person, um, you know, they did their inner journey work and they did their healing and their soul searching as to why they went through their own Three of Swords also, as also shedding light and healing onto people that have been through the same circumstances, especially if that's what they do for a career. So, it's kind of like comes full circle to them. They've been through it and they also counsel those who have been through the same situation here but I feel here that they're not afraid you know and they grew from their lessons and they grew from what they've been through and they've just accepted you know what it is what it is um but they have empathy too I think that's why they could be in counseling or maybe themselves have been through counseling also but um I'm feeling more that's their energy that they could be a counselor in some way shape or form and they're ready to attract something new into their life they've done their healing They've done their thinking and their soul searching, and they're ready for something new to attract something new. So let's see how you would feel about this person, Aries. So we have the fool, so you're going to want to like uh, take a leap of faith here <laughs> with this person. You may feel like a fool for them. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get two more. The magician. Wow. So we have Aquarius. We have Gemini Virgo. And then we have the Knight of Wands, which could be Sagittarius. So, you know, in the night, you may feel very passionate about this person. You may want to just have, like, fun with this person. You may want just something not so serious, just something passionate. Because the Knight of Wands can be a player sometimes. Not a player, but somebody who doesn't really want anything serious, just wants to have some fun, you know, and see where it goes. Not that, you know, if you are looking for something serious, you may take it light, you know, the full energy. Okay, let's take a leap of faith towards this person, manifest a brand new beginning here with this person. But let's keep it light and airy and have some fun and just see where it goes is kind of what I'm feeling. There may be a lot of passion um, between you and this person, how you feel about them. So let's see. Let's get three, four. How you would feel about this person that if I see um, like how or where you would meet this person let's see so we have the page of cups so there here they are you know speaking some sort of you know lovey-dovey words in your ear and we got the two and three of wands so this is about being at a crossroads and then waiting for our ship to come in here so, I feel like this person has been at a crossroads for a while. You know, do I want new love? Do I want to go in that direction? You know, I've healed. I've done my work. I, you know, over my past, you know, whatever heartache they've been through. Um, because, again, we see the hermit with the light and then the three lanterns here. So, they've really done their healing. So, it's like, do I want to go down that path? And it's like waiting, like using that law of attraction, waiting for that ship to come in. That, you know, a person, a true love, or a soulmate, or something like that. But, and they see you off into the distance here. So there could be something uh, at a beach, or around water, um, or at the ocean. If you live near the ocean, if not, it could be, you know, just somewhere near water, or a beach, or a mountain area, or hiking, or something like that. But we do have a lot of wands here, which is spring, which would be now. So, um... I know with quarantine, it could happen in the springtime. Uh, but as I go, I'll see what other energies I get. But as far as, um, could be the springtime. And the magician here is Gemini Virgo. So Gemini season is coming up probably right now, I think. And then Virgo is in the uh, fall. So I could, I would say it could be up until fall time. So yeah, I think they're I think they're gonna see you and be like, oh well, you know, I've waited for a person like this, you know, and I was at a crossroads for a very long time, not sure if I wanted something new, new love, and then here they are offering their cup and uh they may approach you, they may buy you a drink, they may um just approach you in some way. So we have love and passion here. So I think they're gonna be smitten by you <laughs> and I think you're gonna be very attracted to them. 
also because this person has a drink and this person has a drink. So it could be at a bar or an outside uh, venue where, you know, you can drink or something like that. May even be at a magic show. Who knows? Outside um, live entertainment or something in the park or something like that. All right. Sounds crazy, but hey, you never know. And I'm seeing uh, planes here. So it could be like an air show or something like that. All right. So let's see if there'll be any blocks or challenges between the two of you. So we have the seven of wands. So somebody may be a little defensive here. And the four of swords. Somebody may need a little more healing. Okay, let's see. We have the emperor. Aries energy. That's your energy. Let's get a few more. In the Hierophant. Wow. Taurus energy again. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So there's the offer of some kind. A stable new beginning for the long term. This could be <laughs> down the road could lead to a long term commitment here. A lifelong partner with the Hierophant. Somebody may be a little controlling here with the Emperor energy, um, not really getting in a bad way, but somebody will, I think, have to release control of like how fast this is going to progress. You know, somebody may want this to progress like really fast and the other may be a little defensive. So this could be a little bit of a block because we do have the Seven of Wands, which is defensive energy and the Four of Swords about retreating, taking a break kind of energy. So I think here somebody, and this is right in the middle, so I think somebody may want to move this very, very quickly to like commitment or something like that and offer something really solid. And the other may be like, uh, you know, this is a little too quick. You know, can we just, you know, take it slow kind of energy? So that may be a little bit of a challenge or a block here. So if you, you know, can, and I had set up here, um, I feel like you're going to be the one that's going to want to take it slow. Just have fun, see where it goes. And I think they are going to be like, okay, this is my person. I've waited for them. I've waited for this ship to come in, and here they are. I've been at a crossroads, and now I want to offer this cup of love, affection, kind of energy. And the commitment's like right on their side. So you may be the one a little defensive and withdraw your energy and say, you know, can we just go with the flow and not be so controlling of where it's going and just have some fun, kind of like with that fool energy, light and eerie. And just let it progress naturally. And if it leads to commitment and something long term, then so be it. And so I think that maybe one may want like the commitment right away and the other may want to take it a little bit slower. So let's see if you can come to a compromise and work that energy out. I do see commitment, possibly marriage down the road. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, that's like a year. So... Um, so, you know, you could get committed like a year after you stop dating and then maybe five years later you could be married. All right. So I'm, I'm getting more. It could be any time fall, spring into like fall energy. I'm getting where you may meet this person. All right. So let's see. Let's see a possible outcome for you, Aries. Justice. Libra. Oh my gosh, Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love, death. So we got transformation here with the death, Scorpio. So let's see. And we have the Empress. Oh my God, the Emperor and the Empress. We have divine counterparts here. I think this could be a, I don't think this is going to come to an end. I think if you can work out your challenges and blockages of evening out your energy and compromising and learning to take it slow together, see, let it progress naturally, see where it goes. Um, this probably will both give you the justice you deserve in a relationship, having clarity, balancing each other out. And here's a brand new beginning in love, love and emotions overflowing. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, death, very transformative, probably relationship for the two of you. You know, ending old ways of thinking, letting past relationships be in the past not looking back anymore at the past relationships so it does not affect the future. And then you have the Empress here, Emperor and Empress, Divine Counterparts. So seeing that value and worth in each other, and the Empress gives birth to something new. Wow, so let's get five five from the bottom here for more clarity. 
Okay, so we have the ten, the two of pentacles. So there is still, again, that imbalance energy needing, but the justice is the balance. <coughs> Sorry, so if you can balance out those energies and have the justice here. We do have toxic energy here with the devil. So this could be, you know, fear, just fear of this connection, um, you know, self-doubt, fear. A lot of passion maybe between the two of you if you can even out that energy but we do have the six of cups here this is capricorn with the devil but we do have the six of cups six of cups here there's definitely a soulmate energy you could have had past lives with this person could it be somebody from the past re-emerging somebody returning from the past you haven't seen in ages childhood sweetheart all of a sudden coming back or this could be somebody totally new and you're going to feel like you've known them forever again offering something here so we have the Queen of Pentacles, and I did see the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So now we have a matching couple. Again, the Emperor and the Empress, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is uh, Virgo and Capricorn, again. So, again, very stable, grounded uh, connection here. And the Eight of Swords. So again, mental entrapment, blockages, stuck in, you know, head about this. But you can... Get out of this energy at any time you want to. It's of your own doing. So if we can get out of that mental stuck entrapment of energies of the past or ways of thinking, divine counterparts here with the King Queen of Pentacles, definitely soulmate here, past lives, or you're going to feel like you've known them like forever and not understand it. So it could be very, um, the devil here, very like much of not understanding this, and having that fear and, you know, low self-esteem and doubt kind of energy, a very passionate energy maybe between the two of you, and learning how to balance out the energies here with the two of pentacles. But I do see divine counterpart soulmate energy here for you, Aries. Wow. Okay, Aries, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.